What's going on, gang? It's your boy Retro Quinn, and we're coming at you with another sneaker video. Y'all see that title, as always, so y'all already know what we got in hand. The Air Jordan 12 Black Taxi. We're gonna go ahead and get that on feet out of the way, and then after that on feet, y'all already know. Y'all gotta come back so we can get into the details and a review of these beautiful things, man. Let's go ahead and get it. So we got them right here in hand. I ain't spending no time on the box because we done seen this box already. It ain't nothing different about it. They went back to the OG style with the uh, Air Jordan 12s a while back, um, probably like two, three years ago. And they really ain't did nothing with this one. So we just gonna go ahead and get straight into it. We got the Air Jordan 12 Retro. The colorway is black and taxi, size 11 and a half, which is my size. And the color code and style number is CT8013. 071 and the retail price point on these was 200 of them pesos hopefully y'all can yeah we got the focus working pretty good now so got a new camera lens and a kind of i'm almost i almost got it figured out and stuff but uh we still working with some things we're gonna go ahead and get that back there and go ahead and let y'all take a look at these things man yes sir we got them already bust down shout of action up down left right inside out all of that stuff and um, before we get too far into the video, I do want to go ahead and show y'all, um, hopefully the camera can pick it up, but got a factory flaw on these, man, if y'all can see right here on the toe area. I don't like that. I don't like that, but we're going to talk about it. But we're going we're gonna to put that one down and we're going to go ahead and, you know, get straight into the details and everything. We ain't going to spend a lot of time on it. I'm sure there's thousands of videos out already, people getting them early. All of that stuff, man. But let's go ahead and get straight into it, man. We'll start right with the bottom of the sneaker. Jordan Brand hit us with that all black bottom, the regular bottom that we're accustomed to with the Air Jordan 12s. And then y'all see the we got that uh the carbon fiber going straight through the bottom there with that same taxi um print through it. Do I have yep? I actually got my taxi 12s right here. I just wanted to see if it was yeah, it's actually the same. The same bottom as the taxi 12s. The only the only difference that I see is um just the red jump man on those. So y'all can look at that. Bottom is identical. So huh. learn something new every day. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the bottom and then uh straight into the upper. Um I mean as y'all can see, the majority of the shoe is all black, kind of like how the sixes were last week when we knocked them out. But all black uh upper, all black uh midsole. Outer sole, all of that, man. On um, regular Air Jordan 12 bottom, as y'all can see here, we got the reptile, uh, <clears throat> the reptile texture going on there as well. Nothing really different on that. Uh, matter of fact, let me grab my taxes again and see if they changed anything. Uh, I don't know, like on the taxes, I don't know if it's like that just from me wearing it over the years and stuff, just kind of wearing down. But y'all can see here, the uh, like the reptile texture is a lot. You see, it's a lot more detailed than in the in the taxi, so uh, that's a big difference there. If if that is an actual difference, and um, for this upper on this material, I I tried looking at stuff, but um, I didn't do like you know no no heavy research or anything. But on um, the material, it to me is not really like leather. It's more like a I don't know, man. It, it almost feel like some type of weather, like that weatherproof material. But um, it could be leather, like a soft leather, maybe. Um, it, that, that's honestly what it feels like more so like kind of like a leather coat not not a real leather coat but you know uh that that same like uh off off leather feel or something but if y'all know what material it is y'all make sure y'all let me know down below in the comment section please and thank you but um we got that material going on and it's it's real soft and they did the same thing on the tongue too y'all should be able to see it where it's kind of like a it's it's almost like uh like the material on a basketball or something like it's real soft lightly um lightly tumbled not not really tumbled a lot same thing going on on the inside as well y'all can see there but um yeah that's that's really it as far as the materials go in 
we got the uh, gold jump man tab there that y'all can see and same thing on the eyelets here um they hit us with like a kind of like that plastic that plastic eyelet with the gold plating over it and y'all can see the jump man logo on both sides of it there and then we got the gold jump man up here the two three gold so pretty much what they went with was like a you know nine i'm gonna say 95 percent black and then they hit us with some gold hits throughout the shoe just to you know make it pop a lot and um y'all see on the back we got the jordan pool tab with the two three now me personally i feel like this kind of stands out a lot they go another factory flaw there y'all can see Whew. they rush these man they rush these so that's that's gonna hurt the retrograde a lot but yeah they to me the the back paneling and everything just to design and stuff that's that's my favorite area it, it just i don't know it just seemed like it stand out a lot um and i can see like you know uh when you're rocking your jeans or whatever with it on um, different socks and stuff i just feel like it'll stand out a lot more as opposed to some of the other colorways with the retro 12. but um that's really it for real black insole black sock liner we got the gold jump man logo on the inside there and uh regular regular tag yeah they didn't do anything different with the tag kind of left it the same as how they normally have it and i think that is going to be it uh just making sure that i didn't miss anything because um i mean even though it's a predominantly black shoe you can still miss something but i think i got it all on just wanted to you know kind of get my thoughts and opinions out on it let y'all you know get a chance to see it up close and personally in hand before you get ready to make that final decision on whether you want it or not at um I didn't, uh, I don't know whether or not these sold out. Um, I did see people, when I went to pick up mine, I did see people kind of walking in the stores and stuff and um, getting pairs, but they didn't have raffles. So I'm guessing they did have a few left over, maybe not a lot. I don't I don't know the count on these. And um, uh, I went online and looked at like just a few resale prices and stuff. And I really didn't see like any crazy resale prices, maybe like, I want to say the highest I seen was like 260, I think, somewhere around there. But the prices did drop down to about 220, 230. So honestly, I feel like the resale on these will, you know, keep going down and probably get close to retail. So if you didn't get the chance to get them out of the stores, y'all should maybe get them off of the resale market. You no, know, fairly easy. It just depends on how quick you want them. But um, on my retrograde on these, man, I'm uh just for my particular pair overall retrograde i'll probably give these like a, a seven eight but um I, I gotta drop these down to about a six just for my pair um like i told y'all just, just the different you know factory flaws and stuff on that one and then what i was showing y'all earlier on the toe box for this one so i mean and which I, i'll probably go ahead and just get up off of these and get me another pair if i really want them on um, i already wasn't super sold on them being that i got you know i just got enough all black shoes in the collection i still got my master 12s taxi the original taxi 12s they still kind of doing it for me um got the black sixes i just picked up and a few more black shoes in the collection so this was one that i really didn't have to have in the collection more so just wanted to get it so i could get a video out and you know let let y'all get a chance to see it and like i said make that decision and everything but that's gonna do it for the video hopefully y'all enjoyed it y'all make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and do all of that wonderful stuff and without further ado this is your boy Rachel Quinn. I'm out.